Hello and welcome to our latest video roundup. My name is Sean O'Neill and I'll be taking you through the week's best science videos. First off, some new insight into why birds of a feather flock together. An EU funded project called Starflag has been observing flocks of thousands of starlings and used still photographs taken from three different perspectives to calculate the position of individual birds during flight. It's the first time that actual measurements have been taken to test mathematical models of flocking behaviour. The common assumption is that each bird interacts with all the other birds within a certain distance of itself, but the new analysis reveals that in fact each bird keeps track of seven neighbours, no matter how far away they are. This explains how flocks of starlings can regroup so quickly after being attacked and dispersed by a predator. From bird flocks to baboon families now, Sandrine Kerstemont tells us what happens when the father of a family of yellow baboons decides to become a stay-at-home dad. Yellow baboon fathers don't have a very good reputation when it comes to family life. Past research suggests that since females sleep around, fathers find it hard to identify their own offspring and so don't stick around to raise them. These baboons were observed by biologists at Duke University, and they found that fathers can indeed distinguish their own young. They're often around while they grow up and take a protective role during encounters with other baboons. This fatherly influence seems to benefit daughters and sons as well if the dad is socially dominant. The researchers found that young baboons reach sexual maturity earlier the longer their dad spent with the family group. They think the support they get from their male parent means that they are better fed and experience less stress. This allows their sex hormones to kick in earlier, prolonging their reproductive life and allowing them to bear more offspring. The fathers won't usually meet their grandchildren though. They often die before their young reach maturity or else have moved on to another group. Finally, if you've ever wanted to power your gadgets on the move, a new strap-on device could be just what you're looking for. Mason Inman tells us more. This knee device could soon be used to generate electricity while a person is walking. As their leg straightens out during a stride, gears inside the brace spin around and drive an electric generator. The device weighs 1.6 kilograms, so walking becomes more of an effort while wearing it. The researchers from Simon Fraser University looked at the extra effort required and the amount of power generated when using the device constantly. They compared this to using it only during the braking phase of a step. Five watts of power were generated during braking, almost as much as when the device was always on, but putting much less strain on the wearer. This is similar to how hybrid cars work. They generate electricity when the car brakes and use this power later on. The knee generator can produce enough electricity to power 10 cell phones at once and could perhaps be used to power prosthetic limbs or gadgets for hikers. That's it for this week, but if you're still hungry for science, visit us at newscientist.com or buy the magazine. Thanks for watching.